Hey everyone, and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine, and today I just really want to do something fun. I am exhausted <laughs> from the Easter weekend. We went for a bike ride on Friday that was like 12 miles long, and on Saturday we had first day of trout, and then Sunday we went trout fishing again, and so today's Monday, and I'm just tired. So today I'm just gonna do something fun. I bought um, some gladioli bulbs and then just this mixture of purple and white bulbs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them in my front garden for some pops of color. A lot of the plants that I have around here are just green, which is great. I love the color green, but it would be really pretty to see some pops of color out there. So let's go ahead outside. I'll show you the garden where I'm planting these and then we'll go ahead and plant them. And then they should come up in July or July through September um, is what the packaging is saying. Let's see. Yeah, July and September um, is when these little lovely things will come up. So I will show them to you in July through September-ish sometime. All right, so let's go ahead, head outside. We'll grab some tools and uh, get these in the ground. Don't mind the noise, guys. Um, but anyway, the gladiolas get really tall, so they'll stick up above everything that grows down low. So I'm gonna put those in the back. And then I haven't decided about um, the white and purple bulb collection yet. So let's go ahead and start getting things cleaned up here, and then we'll figure out where I wanna plant everything. Okay guys, so the bulbs that we got in the white and purple collection are, I got three white lilies, one purple dahlia, 26 acidanthera, I think is how you pronounce it, and then 10 purple gladioli. So I'm just going to mix the gladioli bulbs with the other gladiolis that I got. And then I'll figure out where to put the rest of these. This is quite possibly 
the noisiest day to record a video ever. Hubby's cutting the grass and now blowing everything off and this happens all the time. We live on a very busy road, so the front yard is not the quietest. So if my audio sucks today, <laughs> I apologize in advance. Um, I will do my best to fix it in the editing, but that's not always a surefire fix. So we're just going to do the best we can with all the noise going on. So bear with me, guys. <laughs> Okay, so for the gladiolis, they're saying to dig a five inch hole. And to set the bulb in like this. So you can see the rooty part at the bottom and then the pointed part. You want the pointed part facing up in the hole. Now they are saying to um, distance the bulbs, like the distance between each bulb, to be five inches as well. However, I know for a fact from growing up with these that, sorry guys, um, these things reproduce so fast that they're going to have little baby bulbs all throughout the mix by next year and they are not going to be five inches apart. So. What I think I'm going to do is actually group them in groups of maybe three and do more of like a, like do a five inch deep hole, but you know, make it bigger round um, and put a couple bulbs in one hole. That way when they come up, I have a cluster of gladiolis um, along the porch line. And hopefully they come up looking like that. Let's go ahead and set out some groupings and um, start planting.
so I just finished planting the gladioli bulbs. I have about seven left, but I don't think I want to plant any more in the front gardens here. Um, because I kind of forgot what I had out here, and a lot of the stuff out here does get pretty tall already. So I think I'm done with the gladioli bulbs. Um, so I just need to kind of scope out my garden beds um, before I plant um, the dahlias, which get, I think, three to four feet tall. So those, um, so that'll need to go somewhere else because it gets really big. Um, and then, <clears throat> the the acid acidantheras um, get 18 to 24 inches I believe is what I, I read on them um, so I'm not 100% sure where I want those either all of these get really tall so I don't want them to crowd out each other It's rush hour, so the cars just keep coming. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just not 100% sure where I want to put everything yet. So once I figure that out, I'll show you show you guys where I'll be planting. So um, give me a few minutes, and I'll be right back with you. So, in my reading, the I'm trying to pronounce this as best I can. The Acidantheras aren't considered a perennial in my grow zone, which is grow zone six. Um, so I would have to dig these up every year and put them in a frost-free location, which I'm probably, in all honesty, not going to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do for this season is I'm just going to put clusters of them around the front part of uh, this garden bed here. And we'll just see how they do. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, when planting bulbs, you want to take a look at them, and the pointy side, you want to plant up, and the flat, sometimes you'll see roots, the flat rooty sides, usually the fatter side also, is what you want to plant down. Um, so just watch when you're planting bulbs, that way you know you're planting them in the right, the right direction. Sedentherias. That's a big name for a flower. And the gladiolis are all planted, which leaves me a dahlia that needs planted still and 
the white lilies. Again, I'm not sure where I'm going to plant those, so those I think are just gonna have to wait for another day because I'm losing daylight and I need to clean up and start making some dinner for my family. So I hope that you enjoyed this just fun little video of me planting some colorful uh, flowers for the summer. I will show you once they start coming up and blooming because they're going to be beautiful. And then I'll show you um, when I decide where to plant the others, where I'm planting those. And uh, so yeah, thanks so much for coming along on this just fun, easy day of planting. Yeah, so thanks for joining me today for planting some fun things in my garden. And remember to grow where you're planted.